himself $10,000 thus far, but there's plenty of more money to be made. And you saw Soft in that interview. That belt is swaggy, and that is an accolade that only few people have, and that is on everybody's mind here. He's going to be locked in here on this opening drive. You mentioned before these guys spending a lot of time sharpening their skills against each other. They're not in practice mode <laughs> anymore. This is the real deal. Can't show any favoritism. Winner moves on with a really a potential to make the ultimate league that starts tomorrow. Loser goes home. Their season's over. And this is the risk of being in those Madden camps, Gold Train. It's all fun and games when you get in tips and everyone's flying it in and giving you all these good game plan, uh, you know, different strategies, different roster tips. But now you're going up against someone that knows what you want to do and you're not going to be able to catch them off guard. That's the give and take. Hands it off to Walker. Or not. Yeah, out, on the first play of the game, that brings up second and 11. For Mustafa, a lot of people in the community call him Safa. They definitely don't call him Mustafa, though. Don't do it. Mufasa. Don't get it confused no. with Mufasa. Yeah, I'm either. not going out there. Yeah. Oh, don't do that. Any Lion King characters. I, I know we're, you know, we're. We're chill with ESPN and Disney now, but we, we can't go that far. I can't, I can't go full Lion King. Second and six. And you're going to see a lot of this gun bunch formation throughout this entire tournament, Coltrane. On the highest level of Madden, this is the most popular offensive formation. So if you're a beginner at home, you take a look at this. But a big sack right there from Drag. So that will bring up third and 15. Biggest play of the game. That's one of my favorite things about watching these tournament cold trains, trying to pick up on these little tips and tricks that the players are doing. Try that home. Big dot right there by Safa. He's on his horse. He's getting this. this At the 10-5. Touchdown, Safa. Wow. Third and 15, back against the wall. Drags just fighting at you with this 3-3-5 defense. You throw a crispy dot. Get on your horse. Get the rack catch going. Big momentum play for Safa, especially with that tournament life on the line. One win away from Ultimate League. That's big. And then same thing with Ultimate League. I believe you can show up there, and the least you'll walk away with is $10,000. And you don't even got to win a game. That's right. The other thing is that's a 10-game season. Each game you win in that 10-game season gets you an extra $1,000, and that's completely separate of the $500,000 prize pool. See the play there, RG, up the side. Beating his chest already here in Minnesota. Oh, he's an emotional guy. Adrian wasn't joking. He legit lost his voice from screaming and yelling and beating his chest from all the big plays last week at the Pro Bowl. And he leaves it all out on the field. I don't mind people getting emotional as long as you can control it and clutch up and stay focused at the task at hand. It's when those emotions get in the way of you focusing on the task at hand. I don't like to see him, but Safa has kept him in check all tournament long. He can play with that fire. Some people can, some people can't. So they're setting up their audibles here for this opening drive for drag. Just took a minute for Safa to strike first, and really a key scorer here early. Might be the only way you can catch your opponent off guard as much as these guys have played against each other throughout the year. Yeah, I don't think they're catching each other off guard at all in this. They're both ready for each, what each one wants to do. It's going to come down to execution, and you're going to have to watch that Henry, that Derrick Henry from drag. He is getting busy with him all throughout the Pro Bowl, and his truck game with that monster is something serious. See drag locked in here on second and five. To run a little inside zone here. No Ball play action. Passes outside. T.Y. Hilton with a nice spin move. That was what they call a dot hole train. Motion the receiver, get him wide open in space, make the crispy read, dot, and then some good stick work with the spin for some extra yards after the catch. And there's Henry. We talked about him being such a key player. Ends up getting. I'm stopping Another that. 10 yards and a first down. But if I'm stopping, that's what I want to do. You go and start doing that truck meta and starting to take out my players. Came in with the low hit stick, punched him in the mouth. Make him think about it next time he goes to truck you. 
That was a good hit right there by Safa. So first and 10 from the 26. Wilson finds Henry. Pushed out of bounds by out of position, Bo Jackson with the neck roll. And remember, Musafa Jones, Jamal Daniels, 22 years old, representing his hometown, Atlanta, Georgia. And then you got Drag, 28 years old, representing his hometown of Green Bay, Wisconsin. So it's not only the glory that's on the line, you got to put your state and your team on your back one time and represent. It's a little extra pressure. So third and three now for the 19. He's inside the red zone. It's going to be a key play for both of these guys. Can Musafa hold him to a field goal? Yeah, and if you're not, if this is your first time getting into competitive Madden, these games are going to go by quick. Each possession is so important because we're only playing five-minute quarter, Cole Train. Third and three. Wilson in the gun. High holds on. That's going to depend on the spot, RG, and they will give him the first down at the 16. Hands it off to Henry. Rumbles ahead for three. Make it second and eight. Safa right there. Look at the focus. He knows what's on the line. It's like he's chewing some gum. As long as they aren't busting rhymes, <laughs> you can do whatever they want up there. <laughs> we've seen, we've seen, we've seen that happen. <laughs> I chewed gum when I played. I mean, he's getting nervous up there, Coltrane. Anything you could do. Good truck by Drag. Well, you need some sort of totem, right? So Drini didn't have the bandana on, took the L. And then once Canes didn't have the toothpick, took the L. Yeah, and people don't know that. we Drini's this guy that when he shows up with no bandana, for some reason it's a different type of player. He puts on that bandana and turns into bandana Drini. Last time we saw him on the Madden Challenge, walked away with a nice check and one of those beautiful belts. So third and two. Big play here, Coltrane. Ball at the eight-yard line. Goes to Henry. He's in. And Henry will get in there for the score and pinning the extra point. We're going to be tied here in Minnesota. Oh, this is going to be a nuts game. Like we said, these players are so familiar with each other. I expect this to go back and forth, back and forth. It's going to come down to who makes that first big mistake that the other, their opponent can capitalize on. But impressive drive so far by both players. Soffa with the big play and drag just... Kind of dragged that drive out. Resulted in a touchdown nonetheless. So seven all. Take a look at it again. Right up the gut. Look at Drag. He's failing himself. He usually keeps quiet, but he's been showing a lot of emotion in this tournament. And I think it's because he's playing with house money. Like I said, he didn't plan on competing this year. Organically made that Packers club. So he's been making a run ever since. Sometimes that's the best time to play, too, when you're playing with house money, Coltrane. We'll take a timeout here with 52 seconds. Here in the opening quarter. Quick throw. And Grant will pick up the first down. Boy, he's a salary cap favorite. Yeah, he's not that much high on the cap. Has a lot of speed. 79 overall, 37 cap, but you mentioned... Does have some speed to get downfield. Remember, that's 37 cap, but you have 900 total cap to put your entire roster together. 37 put it in perspective, a, a gooned out Randy, Randy Moss will cost you about 75. And 75 cap, exactly. Whereas, you know, the 79 green grant, only 37. So second and nine. He's going to take this to the second. Both guys looking good on their opening drives. And that's how the first quarter will end. 7-7 between the Packers and the Falcons. I'm looking at both these players up on the stage, Coltrane. And, yeah, you see it on your screen right there. Their body language is dead serious. Look at that. 
you could just feel the intensity coming off of those two players. They got the aura of men on business right now. It's a business trip for both these players. Of course, Skimbo and Problem coming up a little later today. But hit. It's going to make it third and three at the 49. At least last two weeks have just flown by. For the whole season, huh? The Ultimate League felt, starts tomorrow. Felt like we just were doing the Madden Classic yesterday. Mariota on third down. And Harrison high points in, pulls it in at the 26. That was that same route combo yep. that he threw on Stevie J. And just kicks it you know, after the touchdown, kick the extra point. And able to knock off Stevie J down in his home of Orlando. Anytime you can complete that big pass over the middle, it feels good. That's usually where the user defender is, not that time. And Delaney Walker spins into the end zone. Safa beating that chest again. Drag gives him a little smile. <laughs> the extra point is up and it is good. 14 to seven here early in the second quarter. Drag getting it done really on the ground. Mustafa's not been afraid to air it out. These guys look good on offense, Coltrane. You play that in 18. I sure. play that in 18. It it's, not easy. E it's not easy to just move offense the ball like easy. that, especially on elite level competition. But like I said, I expect this to be a back and forth match. See the replay right there. Slang in the rock, the tight end up the seam. Jokes use the defender, just not able to get enough leverage and depth to cover that. It's a really good read right there by. Musafa gets the win. He's in the ultimate league. The drag, he needs a couple. Here in Minnesota. They're trying to make it to tomorrow. By the way, we had Dovey in the building. Joke in the building, Kibbs in the building, all getting ready for week one to start tomorrow. Got a little problem, Skimbo match later on. I think I'm busy during that time. I gotta, gotta head out for a couple hours. Yeah, we'll you, you be able to handle that one without yeah. me? Next week, Scott. <laughs> Second and 11 at the 32. Jones try to spin. And so here comes another third down for Drag. He's been in a lot of third and shorts. I don't think either one of these players has thrown an incomplete pass yet, Coltrane. It just shows you how familiar they are with each other. Trips to the left. Got to watch Henry. Henry has been Drag's go-to guy from Musafa right here. I am not letting Derrick Henry beat me. Motion from T.Y. Hilton. Oh, throws an interception. And that's Night Train Lane. Oh, that's a big play right there. We're talking about who's going to make the first mistake. Drag tries to throw that C route, overthrown. Diving interception for Safa. He's got momentum right now. He needs to capitalize on this drive, Cole. Bunch to the right. Hands it off to Herschel Walker. And he's actually going to lose. About a yard, yard and a half, second and 11. Wow, that's a huge interception for that man right there, Musafa Jones, one game away from making the ultimate league, moving his hometown Atlanta Falcons into the semifinals of this NFC. To the championship game of this NFC if he was to win this, actually. And the winner will face Goes and the Washington Redskins next. Third and five. That was Night Train Lane who made the interception. Musafa, one of those legends we were telling you about in Ultimate Team. I mean, you'll see Deion Sanders out here, Randy Moss, Barry Sanders. Marvin Harrison out there. 25 seconds before the two minute warning. Oh, Quick that's throw. in traffic. And there's the first incompletion for Musafa today. And it's an important one because that's going to bring up fourth and five, and he's going for it yeah, right at midfield. And you'll see this a lot in competitive Madden. I know we hit our players over the head with this over the time, but for the casual user, they don't know. Fourth down in a five-minute quarter game, you have to get more aggressive. Is why you'll see these guys go for it on fourth down so often because possessions are so limited. This is a big play, though, Coltrane. This is a huge momentum play. Drag can get all kinds of momentum back. You can get a stop here. Mariota looking. Throwing downfield, 
and almost picked off. Bad timing on the pick, but he'll take over at the 48-yard line. Might have been a blessing he dropped it. Yeah, that's what he wanted on fourth down. You don't mind getting the bad timing pick. The most important thing is get the incomplete pass. So that was world-class lurk right there by Drag. Very smart. You just hold down the Y button the whole time on fourth down. Make sure you get your hands on it. And he's right back in this ball game. This one's neck and neck, Cole. A lot of guys would prefer the bad timing pick over trying to go for the swat. Some of those, sometimes you can get in some swat animations that aren't favorable. Yeah. At least you know with bad timing, you're going to have both hands up. Yeah, and for those that don't know what bad timing is, if you're holding the interception button, which is the Y button, down before the quarterback releases the ball, you'll often drop the pass because you're not timing the interception correctly. In that case, Drag did it mind not timing it correctly because all he wanted to do was knock the ball down. So Second the interception and nine. didn't mean anything to him. High point to Julio Jones at the 43. And once again, he's in that third and three, third and five medium range. I mean, Drag's got some heat on that receiver core. Julio Jones and T.Y. Hilton. Some good weapons. Also going along with Shannon Sharp. He's got on the outside. Throws it to T.Y., but he can't get the feet in bounds. That's going to bring up a fourth and five from the 43. You got to go. Big play after big play. When you're playing five-minute quarters, this is what happens. 96 seconds remaining. This is a momentum play, Coltrane. In the half here on fourth and five. Trips to the right. He's really just spent a lot of time throughout the entire club championship being in that trips formation. Yeah, drag, a lot of people like to run the gun bunch formation, which is trips, but bunched up. Drag likes to stay in this gun trips tight end, which is a trips formation, but outside of the bunch. They're not compressed. You see that on the strong on the left right there, those trips receivers. Very popular formation in competitive Madden for the last decade or so. Big fourth down for drag, trailing by a touchdown. Audible. You see him quarterback pointing and all this. This is Drag doing his best Peyton Manning impression, setting guys in hot routes, audible and trying to get to the right play. Keeps the running back in, and T.Y. He's in. Drags his feet. And look at the wife, Bethany. She is feeling that there's not a bigger Drag fan in the house than Mrs. Drag. And she's That's awesome. first and 10. Oh, and Henry, Henry gets loose. Goes. Touchdown, Drag. And Drag with a big smile on his face. What a way to bounce back after the interception. And the wife's failing it in the crowd as well. So this extra point will tie things. Here in the opening game of the Madden 18 Club Championship, final eight goes is waiting to face the winner. And, you know, you don't only got the money on the line. You don't got the ultimate league only on the line. I mean, that stuff is on the line. But don't forget, the guys that make the championship of this tournament each get a pair of tickets to the Super Bowl here in Minnesota to say the New England Patriots play the Philadelphia Eagles. And you can see the truck stick, the broken tackle. And Miss Drag is loving it here in Minnesota. And she knows her Madden. If you sit down... And talk to Bethany. She knows, you know, that Drag's looking to truck with Henry. She calls it fluke when he fumbles. She's in tune with the community. So now Safa will have three timeouts here. 75 seconds. And try to take the lead right before the half. Reed. This is also key because Drag will get the ball to start half number two. Give yourself a little breathing room if you can go down here and punch it in for seven. No, that's a big point, Cole. If Drag's getting the ball at halftime, if you're Safa, you want to turn this into points. Three, three, three. The other thing you can't do here is throw a pick six. Oh, you have to also protect that rock. That's a good point. We see a lot of players get too aggressive before the half. 
turn the ball over. Off his back foot, and Delaney Walker can't hang on. So with 103 to go in the half, it'll be a second and 10. Big play here for Musafa Jones. He's already taken out some clutch players in this tournament, and Manu Ginobili and Stevie J. And there's that corner route. Stays in bounds at the 33. And 53 seconds is an eternity. You might want to ask yourself, why didn't he get out of bounds there? Because he does use a timeout. And he still has two left after that. There's Mike Wallace. Two grabs for 89 yards already. Look at that stage. Nice stage, huh? Shout right out to in the, the thick of it team. here at the Super Bowl experience. If you're in driving distance of where we're at, come down here. We talked about earlier. I'm dragging his wife. Drove down. Late last night, got to the hotel, just in time to get some grub with RG. Yeah, there's Bethany, they had a four hour drive down here from Wisconsin, but hey, I said I want my wife to be here, we'll drive down, I'll forgo my flight. It's got some, some real support in the crowd right there. Four hours, you, you gotta make a playlist. You, anything over an hour, you, you gotta. I'm sure a, they were good. Put a mixtape together, burn a CD, no, make a no, playlist, no, whatever you gotta do. Who gets rights to the playlist, is it the wife? The, the driver, driver, well, well that's tough. The the driver tournament. versus wife. It's tough. If the wife is driving, then the wife definitely gets the play. But not keep in mind, Greg's got business to handle. So he's trying to get in the zone on the way up here. And if your playlist is throwing me off, that could throw off my game. Yeah, we we were looking over at her, and she says, I got the playlist, y'all. Don't, yeah, don't. Oh, yeah. She's like, don't, yeah. don't. <laughs> don't you touch Mrs. Drag's radio. Now he's down there in the dead zone with one timeout, clock on the move. He's going to use it. Yeah, so now he only has 22 seconds, no timeouts. Got to be careful if you take a sack or run the ball and not get in if you're Musafa right here. I think that timeout right there puts him in a situation where he's going to have to slang this rock. You remember when he could have got out of bounds with 53 seconds, he burned a timeout instead. Would love to have that here just to have a... A couple more options. There he goes out of that bunch in the single back ace. See what he's got here. Empty. Watch for Mariota to take off as well. Oh, he missed the read. X. Got another one. Ah, That's a touchdown. Down. Low pass to Mike Wallace and Safa in the waning seconds of half number one regains the lead. Oh, Jamal Daniels, a.k.a. Musafa Jones, 22 years old out Atlanta, Georgia, driving down the field, no timeout. Timeout steps up in the pocket and finds a crispy hot one over the middle, low throw pass, possession catch. I know I'm speaking gibberish to some people out there, but if you're into Madden, you get it. Take a look at it again, RG. Yeah. No one was open, had to go back to X in the back of the end zone. And he threw that low throw by holding the LB button, holding down on the left stick that put the ball at a low trajectory. And then he got his receiver to dive and sell out with the possession catch. You do that by pressing the A button while the ball's in the air. So first and 10, he does have a timeout here. Ball up to 31, 15 seconds Just to go. The drag. Be careful. You got to be careful here, Drag. See? Sack fumble in that situation. If I'm Drag, just get to the second half right here. It's time for another play. Also has a timeout. There he goes, just man to man. Hands it man off to Henry. But a good job bottling him up. And that's where the half will end. 21 to 14. Here in the opening game of our final eight of the club championship. They were in the NFC side. Winner faces the Redskins and goes. And for the loser, we talked about the implications. It's over. It's over. No Madden. ultimate league. We do have some parting gifts. That's it. See you Madden next year. Madden season is over if you lose this game. Henry. That's a different kind of pressure, Scott. These guys put out your heads up for 30 hours a week. Putting into this game. Time, effort, an investment. It's... A lot on the line right here, and it's a different special kind of pressure that a lot of people aren't used to dealing with. Suggs once again on the stop. T.Y. close to the marker. And they're going to mark it just shy, third and inches at the 37. 
Safa with a seven point lead. Drag's still on the shotgun here on third and inches. Maybe an inside zone to Henry, you gotta think. No, he's passing. Users X, you Good gotta pocket. take off there. Good he will. Pocket. Nice. So Safa plays coverage. And Wilson does a good job of buying some time and picking up the first down. Safa did a good job taking away Henry in the flats. That's exactly where Drag wanted to go. Safa took it away and went to the middle of the field, played the drag himself. And that put Drag under some pressure, but he had perfect poise in the pocket, good stick work, and scrambled for the first down. That was a big play by Drag and Russell Wilson right there. Second and six, and... Drag able to use his cadence there. To make Musafa jump off with the aggressive coaching. Yeah, yeah there's, front. there's coaching adjustments in the game. So you could put your pass rush on aggressive, and they'll have a better chance of getting to the quarterback. But if I fake snap it, they also have a better chance of jumping off sides. That's what happened right there. Drag with the fake snap, caught Musafa on aggressive, off sides, free five yards. 75 yards on the ground now. For Derrick Henry on 12 carries, he's got two touchdowns. All spotted at the 41. First and 10 drag. Good way to shoot the gap, Safa. One thing I love about this tournament, Coltrane, is if you've never watched competitive Madden before, you at least have a horse in the race. If you're a Packers fan, you obviously want to root for Drag. You want him to bring that championship trophy back to Green Bay. Green Bay will have this, you know, best Madden player in the world representing them. And same thing for Musafa. If you're an Atlanta fan, you want to get behind this guy, your hometown hero, representing your Atlanta Falcons, and he's trying to bring the glory back there. And that's one thing I love about this tournament is it makes it easy for you to have a horse in the race. Trying to get to the NFC Championship. Face the Redskins. First and 10 now into 26. And what's been impressive to me, RG, is both these guys have been very methodical, very patient with their offense. Yeah, it, I've been in a situation where you got to play up against somebody that's in your camp or your crew that you practice with all the time. And this is usually how the game goes. You're very comfortable because you know what your opponent's going to do. Some of those nerves go away, and it just comes down to execution. And both players executing pretty well right now. Wilson, second and nine, has a man wide open. That's Julio. A big hit at the 16. But that's going to... Set up a new set of downs, first and 10 for drag. I think I'm noticing this. Safa's got some hitters on his team. He's landed some big hit sticks. Some big hits on drag. Again, there Stop it ball. is! There it That's is, right. right on cue, Coltrane! Right on cue, we were just talking about. He's landing hit sticks, he's got the big hitters. And here goes Henry trying to go up the middle. Punched in the mouth, fumble recovered by Safa. And poor Bethany, that's not what she's trying to see right there. That's Julian Stanford, a 64 overall silver item with the recovery and a pitch to Herschel. Uh -oh. Spins away from Boom. another one. And some breathing room out to the 22 for Herschel Walker, the former Bulldog. Here's the run. And when I talk about the hit stick, Coltrane, for those that don't know, when you're on defense, you can take that right stick on the controller, and if you flick that into the offensive player, you trigger a big hit type animation that punches them in the mouth and increases the fumble chance. Got a Sean Taylor going right there. Like when Sean Taylor hit the punter in the <laughs> pro ball, that would have been yes. a hit stick in Madden. One of the best safeties of all time. Also an ultimate team. We've seen him on a couple rosters in this tournament. Wow, this is a big drive for Sopper right here. If you can go down in the second half, get points, and make this a two-possession ball game, you'll be flourishing and in prime position to win this game. This is a huge drive in this game, Cole. So third and two, 65 seconds remaining in the quarter, and Drag, trailing by a touchdown, needs a stop. Drive started at the six-yard line for Mustafa after 
a fumble recovery on a big hit when Drag was in the red zone. Hands it off to Herschel. Uh oh. We're gonna have a fourth down here. This is big. He's gonna go. three. He's gonna get aggressive. We talked about it before. Some guys are more willing to go for it when it's down on their own end because they know if someone scores on them, it's going to be quick. Yep, and yep. it's very stingy down there if you turn it over. Fourth and three. It also helps on defense when you don't got to worry about that big play over top. It changes your defensive philosophy a bit. This is big. Mariota. It's good defense. Good, good blocking, time. and Harrison is wide open at the 48-yard line. First down, Musafa. Look at Safa's numbers. 15 for 19, three touchdowns, steps up in the pocket, throws away from Drag's user who's guarding the underneath stuff. Good vision by the young 22-year-old from Georgia, and Drag's not feeling it. And so as we move to the fourth quarter, here in our first game from the Super Bowl experience downtown. And here's a first and 10 as Safa and Mariota tell me to quiet down. You could do that by cl clicking that right stick when you're at the line of scrimmage. You get that little quiet down animation, swag out with the quarterback a little bit. So second and ten. Even a three here is going to put Drag in a really tough situation. Good defense from Drag. And that's Brian Dawkins. Speaking of great safeties. Comes up with a huge sack. That's going to bring up third and 18. Here you go, Drag. This is a big play. Four-hour drive with the wife. Now's the time to step up, make it all worth it. That drive's a little easier when you guarantee 10,000. And you guarantee 10,000 bucks. Win or lose, but still. There it is. Williams gonna have to punt gets this. loose. Comes right up the gut. That's going to be a fourth and forever. Wow, way to come up big if you drag. Keep yourself in this ball game. Stop Musafa, whose offense has looked amazing so far. He won't go away. He's going to have Taking room. at the 35, Julio. That stick. Didn't need a spin there. And look at that. Now you get life again. You fumbled. Maybe things didn't go your way, but you get a stop, and you got the ball with 3.53 to go with a chance to drive down here and tie it up. You drag. You got to protect your players right now. Musafa has been hitting on defense. You don't want to let him get another fumble. And when you're trucking that much, you're going to leave your guys susceptible. Wilson. Goes to yeah, there you go. And you see what he did there, Coltrane? Instead of taking the hit, he held the left trigger and the right trigger, tapped the X button, and that put his receiver in that give up position, which will allow him to avoid those big hits. That's a very mature and smart play right there from Drag. Second and three. Wilson, off his back foot. And a nice playmaker to the outside for Jones. Boy, these guys are passing at a high completion rate in this one. Yeah. I, one thing for Drag, he works full time in the health insurance industry, 28 years old, and still, you know, married and still able to compete at this high a level. You got to get the ball. Oh, no. oh, no. And Stanford is there again. Julian Stanford. Right when I'm paying him all kinds of homage. He scrambles with the quarterback and thumbs out. Instead of sliding, he tries to hold RB. It doesn't work. Not protecting the quarterback. Second turnover in a row for Drag. Crucial mistake. You just got to slide in that situation, Coltrane. He tried to hold RB to cover the ball, which can protect you, but that animation takes a while to get into sometimes. Looked like the hit triggered before he could really cover it up. Now he's got himself in a situation deep in this fourth quarter. First and 10, there's Herschel. And time starting to become a factor in this one. Oh, absolutely a factor. It is harder to kill the clock 
in these situations and in real life because we do play with a 30 second play clock instead of the 40 second play clock but nonetheless like you said coltrane not much time regardless of that luckily for drag he has all three of his timeouts but those are going to be precious to him in this situation second and six ball to 47. Stretches it outside to Walker. Gets away from a defender. And this might depend on the spot, but he's going to be just short. Third and one at the 48. That's where his knee went down. Mustafa, he looks kind of relaxed up there. We'll hit the two-minute warning. Seven-point game with three timeouts apiece. Usafa on a drive trying to put this one out of reach. This is big if you're Musafa. A couple of first downs away from punching that ticket to the Ultimate League. Advancing to the NFC Championship to face goes. 31. Drag missed the hit. You mentioned it. It's flying into the backfield. It went right by Walker who picked up the first down and more. That was huge. Yeah, and Safa just put his ball carrier coaching adjustment to conservative. So it's going to be hard for him to break tackles right here. But his fumble chance is going to be significantly lower. If Safa can get himself in field goal range, he'll feel much more comfortable because he can make it a two-possession ball game. These next few yards are big, Scott. Drag needs to get stingy here. First and 10 at the 41. Back to Hirsch. And a good hit there at the 39. And Drag will use his first timeout. Two remaining with 1.23 to go. See Mustafa has, Mustafa has at the kick, kicker position. He has the 83 overall, Dan Bailey. I think he's right outside of his range. Needs about another three yards. Feel comfortable kicking this field goal. Pitches it. And Walker. Oh, it's Walker took him out. And that's why you got to be careful about a pitch in this situation, Coltrane. On the pitch, is so far in the backfield. Your chance of getting hit for a tackle for loss increases significantly. So now play. and 13. This is huge. Mariota thinking about using his legs. He'll throw it away. That'll stop the clock. Uh -oh. With 74 seconds remaining in this one, it's well go. out of field goal range. You got to go and try to clinch this thing. This is the game. This is the game, Cole. Is he going to punt? He's going to punt and let the defense come out come on, and baby. rock. You can hear his wife rooting on drag here. Just one more drive. How many chances is drag going to get to this, tie this thing up? I knew this game was going to get down to the nitty gritty. I didn't know it was going to be this gritty Coltrane. Drag with one timeout, a minute 08, tournament life on the line. Can you put a drive together, sir? Boy, 108 in Madden is forever. He's, He's got to go 91 yards, though. Plenty of time, like you said, Coltrane. Winner moves on. The loser of this one goes home, and their season's over. Picks up a pick, quick five yards. That'll stop the clock. 104 to go from the 14. Yeah, that was good pocket. Found the drag route. Got him out of bounds to stop the clock. It's intense. Really hasn't had a big play today. It's been all methodical on offense. Look at Safa. He took he took a cover two look and turned it into a cover four right there. With his defensive adjustments. Finding the soft spot and also finding the out of bounds at the 30. Oh man, look at that focus of Safa. 57 seconds away if he could pull it off. First and 10 now. Has one timeout. Drag doing a great job handling these blitzes. Throws it to the outside. We talked about it at the top of the show. Drag needs multiple wins here to make it to the ultimate league, which is a half a million dollar conclusion to the season. 16 players, 10 games. Two wins. Mustafa just needs one win. He's 52 seconds away from being in the Ultimate League and moving on to face goes. Motion across the formation, Wilson. 
Drag is looking. Oh, an interception to Nitrain Lane. He'll just lay down, and Safa should be able to bend the knee and escape. Three times in a row, Drag had the opportunity to get down there and tie this one, and he had three straight turnovers, RG. Oh, my goodness. When Musafa Jones came up to me, poor Bethany with her reaction. When this young man came up to me three years ago and told me, watch out, I'm going to make a name for himself, we never thought we'd see him here in Minnesota at the Super Bowl representing his hometown Atlanta Falcons. And now in the NFC Championship game, punched his ticket into Ultimate League. Wow, what it's a story. Be Falcons and Redskins in the NFC Championship here in the Madden 18 Club Championship. And I, I mentioned it. Drag had three opportunities to tie the game, two fumbles, and then a pick that ended up sealing it, RG. Yeah, now you got to take your hats off the drag. He fought that entire game. It came down to the wire. But there's something special going on right now with that young man, Mustafa Jones. His whole attitude, his whole aura, it just strikes me as a man on a mission. He's made a name for himself. I couldn't be happier for that young man. Well, here's the updated bracket you can see in the NFC. Mustafa Jones is going to face goes. Of course, deliverance against Spot Me Plays in the big game of the day, Skimbo and Problem. That's how the bracket looks. And Adrian is standing by with the winner. And that whole game, it was asked and answered, just back and forth. What was your mentality? Uh, I just wanted to slow down his offense. Uh, I feel like if I if I had one or two stops, I was going to win the game. And uh, that's a tough offense to stop, man. The drag is a really good player, and I was worried about his offense coming in. So it was it was uh, it was a good experience to, to, to come on to win with that one. And Drag is one of your e &B brothers, and so we know you guys collab together. So can you tell me, did that previous experience, did that give you an edge here? Drag is so different, man, it's hard to prepare for him. Uh, we, I, he was up, I was up all night trying to prepare for him. He's a, he's a good player. He's a great player, man. And uh, I wish he would have played more this year because, you know, he could easily make uh, Ultimate League. But uh, he's a great player, man, and I, I love him. And congratulations on moving into the Madden Ultimate League. And before you get there, you're going to have to go play Ghost. What do you plan to bring to the table to compete against his, his game plan? Uh, I'm going to have to slow it down versus him, uh, make him think a lot more than he usually does. Uh, we play all the time. Uh, me and Ghost play probably more than anybody. So uh, it's going to be an interesting battle between me and him. Well, congrats again to you, Dave and Rico. Welcome. Cool.